What is up, homies? Welcome back to another trailer reaction from Heroes Reforge. We are checking out the first official trailer for Venom, The Last Dance. <laughs> I have sort of mixed feelings about the Venom trilogy, but before we get into those thoughts, if you want to see our reactions for things like Fallout, The Boys, The Acolyte, plenty of other things, X-Men 97, check those all out on our Patreon link down below. We've got uncut reactions for all of those shows. But also, the Chexkins podcast is live every single week on the Chexkins mm -hmm. channel. If you don't look at the descriptions down below, shame on you because we have links to our Discord in there as well. So make sure you check out all that stuff. What are your thoughts on the Venom trilogy oh, man. so far? <laughs> you, you don't want to hear my thoughts, Adam. I have, <laughs> I have nothing nice to say about these movies. Um, uh, I honestly, I, I know I saw the last one in theaters. Yeah. Cannot, Didn't you and I go together? I think we did. I yeah, think I think we, we saw it together. I cannot remember a single... I, I So I remember the last fight scene. Yeah. That's really all I remember. Yeah. I can't tell you what happened in the movie. I don't mm. know how Carnage came about. <laughs> like, I, I, don't, I don't know anything oh, because God. I was so turned off by that movie. Yeah. That I just, I, it just, I mentally checked out. That's why I say I don't have anything nice to say because I, if a movie didn't grab me, like, mm -hmm. at all, there's not a lot of movies that I've completely blocked out of my head. And totally. that's one of them. Like, I even remember Morbius. <laughs> there's, there's stuff that I remember from Morbius. I know that there's a diehard film fandom behind it and i'm yeah. trying really hard to understand what's going on behind it one thing i did really enjoy about the first movie was the campaign in china that they had for a long time right where it was like venom was this cute little guy who would ride the subway That's and like right. your best friend yeah right it was really odd and so uh -huh. yeah I'm, I'm trying to understand it hopefully this this next trailer will make me want to watch it i don't yeah. know i'm pretty good with my venom and tom hardy content so i don't <laughs> i don't i don't know i'm just i'm coming in with expectations like yeah negative in the negative zone yeah i actually did enjoy the first one and i think the reason i think i enjoyed the first one was it was ridiculous to me it still felt like a 90s a very 90s 2000s marvel superhero movie but i think mm -hmm. tom hardy as ridiculous as sometimes his performance was, there was still something like grounded about it that mm. I felt like kept me in. But with mm. Let There Be Carnage, I was completely disconnected from that whole movie, which I was kind of bummed out yeah. about because Andy Serkis yeah. directed it. And I thought, oh, yeah. this will be really cool. Like I, I would imagine that maybe Andy Serkis could make a really good film. And then we saw it and I was like, oh, I did not, I did not like that movie at all. The only yeah. thing yeah. That, that I give credit to this movie is that they made a really cool steel book. And I'll probably literally never watch this movie, but the steel book is really dope looking. <laughs> That's yeah, literally it. It's it. fine. It's, it's it looks it's fine. fine. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. But so my expectations going into this third movie is well, I don't know the director's work, Kelly Marcel, but I'm gonna be optimistic about it because at least there's some finality to this. Like it's an actual trilogy. It's not we'll make three mm -hmm. and then we'll see what we're gonna do. They still could obviously do that. But yeah. So I at least that the fact that there's some finality to it, I'm hoping that the creative and sort of the thought process behind the production was, well, if we're going to go out, go out with a bang, let's try to make it the best one mm. possible. And that they've learned their lessons, hopefully from the sequel and potentially also, you know, the first one as well to see kind of what worked and what didn't and lean into that. But you're right, this trilogy, this movie, all of these Sony adjacent Marvel films are in this weird place where they are, I can't even say they're in direct competition with the MCU because the quality of them is so much lesser than the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And uh -huh. even some of uh -huh. the MCU's work First, I would say is like on par with these with these projects, uh, which sometimes is not that great. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not optimistic or pessimistic. I'm so in the middle that I yeah. just want to see it and then hopefully either enjoy it or if it's you know not enjoyable at all, then whatever. I wasted mm -hmm. two hours that I'll never get back. But you know, it is what it is. So yeah, it, it is what it is. You're yeah. you're much kinder than I am, Adam. I wanted to say much more. <laughs> much different things um but you know well let, let's let the trailer let's let the trailer speak and then we can see if it changed our mind let's Absolutely. let's just jump into this bad boy all right here we go in three two one go oh oh they're going interplanetary yeah you should probably know that i have a really dark and unpredictable side to me <laughs> Stop speaking. I'm giving you a chance, sweetie. <laughs> when? Oh, jeez. What? 
Hello. We are. We are Venom. <laughs> God. <laughs> no. Venom. <laughs> work on that. <laughs> that was, oh that my God. Good. Okay, that was pretty good. To all the finest places. I need to He's always walk like he has choro. He's got like, yeah, he's got like diaper rash. Yeah. Impossible. <laughs> we were alone in the universe. Oh, wow. What a cast. Ah, more symbiotes. And it's our job to make sure that remains a secret. Let's go get him. Oh, shit. <laughs> We are fugitives. On the run. In the shit. <laughs> you are living the dream, my friend. Whoa. No. Any promises? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I'm into that. Okay, okay. Oh, Reese Iffins? Damn. Oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> There's an army coming that cannot be beaten. As long as Venom lives. Whoa. Everything will end. We may not make it out of this alive, buddy. Eddie. The time has come. Huh. Interesting. Wow. Y'all really trying to make me think you're going to kill Eddie Brock? Be honest with me. How fast do you think you can get that thing to go without killing it? Only one way to find out. Oh, no. They're going to do. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's just okay, it's just a, it's just a lunatic fest. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm in. I'm okay. in. I gotta uh, say that I'm in. Okay. Uh, I genuinely laughed. Like it had some genuinely <laughs> really funny moments. Oh man. Okay. That's if, funny. if anything, like uh, my feelings for this franchise, the the last movie didn't make me laugh at any point. I love funny, silly movies. I've always mm -hmm. been. I think that's one of my favorite genres. Is just comedy. If anything mm -hmm. can make me laugh, I think I'm good to go. And this movie, <laughs> this trailer, at least, genuinely made me laugh. I think I'm. I think I'm convinced that. I'm gonna watch this i don't know maybe i need to see another trailer what do you think adam i surprisingly yeah i did find it very entertaining it's funny and kind of ridiculous but you know it's the third movie and they still haven't figured out how to nail that liner of we are venom is kind of funny to me and That's it's hilarious. like we're, we're fugitives on the run eddie i'm like isn't that been the case for all three fucking movies yes, um, yes it has i think been. that's super interesting i was just looking up actually the yeah. director kelly marcel and i didn't know mm. that she was actually a writer on all all three Venom films and a producer oh, on all three of them and now is directing the third. Another yeah. interesting tidbit is she was a script editor on Bronson, which was the movie that Tom Hardy did uh, with I Nicholas Winding Refn. Yep. Yeah, where he played Charles mm -hmm. Bronson. So it was really, really good. So that's okay. kind of cool to see that that she's gone from producer writer to now being the director of the movie. Yeah. So I, I hope that the experience of working on all three of the films, obviously being in a huge integral part of it from the creative mm -hmm. perspective, I would hope would give really good insight into well how can we do this the right way that maybe maybe the first film even and definitely the second film kind of missed the mark but it's yeah, going big yeah. like it's going really like the the scope it, of the project it, it is really much is. bigger than the last two with interplanetary yeah. sort of destruction so i don't know right, like it looks right. i look at i i feel in, like it's going to be at least an entertaining movie for sure yeah um yeah it's always so funny to see actors who have played other mcu characters or other characters yeah. in other uh like recent Stiffens was the lizard in the Andrew Garfield mm -hmm. Amazing Spider-Man movie. Um, yeah. He does the voice of the character Kurt Connors in No Way Home. And now you have yeah. Chiwetel Ejiofor, who's Mordo in the MCU yeah. playing a different So, you know, I, I feel like here, the only yeah. reason I even bring it up is because for the longest time, we were always like waiting for them to integrate Tom or hoping they would maybe integrate Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock into the Tom Holland movies. They teased that right. with the multiverse yeah. in the last film or with Spider-Man No Way Home. And then 
clearly like not probably not even going to be a thing that they're going to touch in this third movie it'll be so disconnected yeah, I don't think so. that you'll never even have to worry about whether or not it's connected to anything else you know it is what it is but it definitely like you're saying it looks entertaining and i really yeah. don't care we're not i don't mm -hmm. think at this point anyone's going into it going like well i really do hope that it pulls all this deep lore from the comic books i think we're yeah. past that at this yeah. point i think i think yeah i think you're absolutely right i think having um the director come in with so much experience of what this individual project is it's not it's not comic space at this point yeah. i mean some of the things might be like all the symbiotes coming from planets like the the symbiote planet and like hunting down venom and stuff like that that mm -hmm. that f if as far as i know does happen that to some extent um in in the venom comics not like this i don't think and so yeah this thing is kind of a living breathing organism on its own Mm -hmm. and to have her come in and say like look i understand with these three movies at least what you were trying to say let me take a stab at it i'm mm -hmm. pretty sure i can knock this out of the park because the yeah. bar is like or way down <laughs> right here um yeah it's just like a couple steps down lower um but i i i feel like they're nailing something i feel like there's something that's working here this trailer at least has some kind of energy that is uh making me maybe it's just because i forgot about the second movie but mm -hmm. this is making me at least a little bit more interested in in watching this franchise back over again i think what's interesting though is that i also really like the current venom that's going on Mm -hmm. Venom right now, there is a moment in which Venom picked up Thor's hammer. <laughs> what uh, yeah okay it was uh venom so okay so I'll, I'll preface it with this um venom and his planet are tied to one of the deadliest entities in marvel which is null null is right. like the the king of darkness right so mm -hmm. that is that is what his symbiotes and everything is is tied to and he is one of the central characters to try to to defeat null and there's a mm -hmm. moment in which like venom went up against dr doom and like he's been been, he's been kind of like the anti-hero of the MCU and at least in the Venom comics um, as of the past couple years. That's why I say that this is its own living and breathing entity because it's there's no way that they're going to touch any of that stuff. There's no chance that these movies are going to talk about Null right. unless they really decide that like for some reason this isn't going to be the last movie. All of these symbiotes coming back are sent by Null, which is mm. crazy because they don't necessarily look like symbiotes. Right. Uh, they could be sent by Null. I don't know. No, I don't know. This movie's so wild that I'm not How even going to try to. wild the movie get? Dude, yeah, exactly. To end with Noel, no thing. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, there's just wild stuff going on with Venom from the nineties and also like currently. So yeah. I think that being its own entity, I hope this is where they end it so that we can eventually get to, uh, a, a null to, uh, right. may, may, maybe Thor picking or maybe Venom picking up Thor's hammer at a specific oh point. I don't know. I yeah. don't know. It's crazy. Yeah. We're just gonna have to watch this movie. <laughs> yeah. Well, and also I think to your point, a character like like Noel, I would imagine that because it's not a Spider-Man property, it belongs to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and Sony can't even probably touch that character. I believe you're right. I think Noel came about after the deal was made. Mm -hmm. And so I think he's safe with Marvel. So we'll see. Yeah. No idea. Yeah. No idea. Yeah. Yeah, we'll 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 see how it goes. I mean, weirder <laughs> things have happened. We've had Madame Web I know. as a real movie. That's a real movie. I know. And somehow That's it's crazy. worse than Morbius. And let us not forget that we still have uh, one more golden gem of a Sony Marvel movie coming out this year, Craven huh? the Hunter. Oh Lord, I did forget. Oh, You're welcome man. for the okay. reminder. Uh, so if you really want to watch a dumpster fire oh, burn man. to the ground, I uh, think Craven will probably be the, the even the greater okay. hit than we think it will be. Okay. So we, let's good times. See. Let's good times. Ooh. Ooh. But in the meantime, check out everything else that we've been watching on the channel. Check out our Patreon. Jump into the Discord. Join the community for all the amazing discussions that we're having. Be back. We're going to be doing reactions to the Acolytes starting this week, and uh, it'll be a really good time. So. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye.